Yes, hello, my name is Karin Magnusson. I'm a clinical physiologist at Dandrids Hospital, Sweden. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to present our work uh, regarding pressure measurements during urodynamic studies. Uh, Dr. Peter Rosier laid the ground very well there for, for my presentation. Uh, I have nothing to declare. So as Peter talked about, um, conventional urodynamic studies have been performed using waterfield catheters. And waterfield catheters have been uh, used for the existing normal values and is still the catheter type recommended by the ICS. Uh, and as we heard, there are different types of catheter systems, among them airfield catheters, which are being more frequently used in the clinical setting. So our aim was to compare pressures in catheters with airfield versus waterfield technique during urodynamic studies. We included 63 patients and we used one single catheter in clinical routine where the uh, fluid filling channel ser first served as the bladder filler and then as the water pressure reader during micturition. Uh, the pressures we measured were, were vesicular pressures during maximum flow during micturition, PVS at Qmax, and urethral pressures during urethral pressure profile studies, PUra. And for each patient, we obtained PVS at Qmax, PUra, or both. These were our main uh, results, and we found significant differences in means with higher pressures with uh, the airfield technique, uh, both regarding urethral pressures and uh, vesicular pressures. We also uh, found a strong positive correlation um, between the two techniques. We see here as well the, the higher pressures with the airfield technique. Mm. Pressure, so pressures measured with the airfield technique are significantly higher compared with the waterfield technique, and there is a strong positive correlation between the two techniques. Uh, and since we wanted to, to use only one single catheter, we were not able to obtain dual pressure measurements with the, for the abdominal pressures, uh, and hence we couldn't compare the calculated detrusive pressures between the two measurement techniques. Um, but if this discrepancy would be transfer transferable to the detrusive pressure, it could be clinically important and um, uh, affect the, the diagnosis, for example, of infravesical obstruction. And it could also uh, critically affect the evaluation of the urethral sphincter pressures where the abdominal pressure is not in the equation. So we conclude that pressures measured with the airfill technique and waterfill technique cannot be used interchangeably. And we agree with the ICS that water fill catheters are still the preferred catheter types until we know more about this. Thank you for the attention. And so it's, uh, this paper is open for uh, discussion as well. And I, I totally, I think very good paper and very important uh, concepts. We can't just use the number, we can't interchange the numbers. And I strongly agree that water filled are the, uh, are the, uh, are the preferred method for doing your dynamics. Mm. Uh, but questions from the audience? Um, I have a question. Mm. You um, didn't measure uh, um, the, um, I mean, the what it was coming from the abdominal channel. Right? No, this was only done for. Uh, yeah, the we, we were not uh, able to measure the abdominal pressures mm. with one single catheter. Yeah, right. That is why we only we want so, to. So yeah. what? From what I uh, have understood until now about comparisons mm. about um, between uh, uh, air field and water field catheters. Mm. Uh, maybe the abdominal uh, line could be even more affected. Uh, yeah, than the, it, it, the some papers show that line. the abdominal yeah. pressures are even higher, mm -hmm. so that the d calculated detrusive yeah. pressures are uh, slightly so lower. That, but that could be the, the real problem, because I mean, at yeah. the end, if the difference was similar in both lines, yeah. at the end, the detrusive pressure wouldn't, wouldn't be it affected. It wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. But for example, as I said uh, lastly, the, for the urethral pressures, the abdominal pressure is not in the equation. So uh, in those pressure measurements, we have a, a huge difference. So another factor that wasn't taken into account in, in, this, in, in your paper is the fact that the abdominal pressure, you can keep, if you're not getting a good tracing, you can keep pushing the, the catheter in further. And mm -hmm. then, of course, the further you push the catheter in, then when you, when you tilt the patient up, because each 
each of these transducers mm. is now at a different level, mm. so you can significantly yeah. change the detrusor pressure and mm. get. And then lots of instances we find that the detrusor pressure is so is way below zero, 10, 15, yeah. Yeah. 20 seconds below zero. So mm. to me, it's a real conundrum. And I mm. thank you for pointing this out once again. Mm. Okay. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.